Joining me on the line from Parts Unknown, one of my favorites, he's a best-selling author, international security expert, attorney, and all around one of the smartest guys in the room, Barry Nussbaum. How are you? I'm great, and I wish I was in the room with you. It would be party time on Aloha Friday, but, you know, we can do it by Skype. Tell me what's going on. I'll tell you, Kent, it has been a crazy week in the news. I have so much to share with Crave. I've got a list of did you know questions that your audience really needs to know about. If you're ready, I'm ready. Tell me what I need to know. You got it. So, 22 million Americans are out of work as of a couple of days ago because of a virus you know, COVID-19, you probably heard of this by now. Uh, it's affected one-tenth of 1% 1 of our population. And with that infection rate, here we go with the news. Did you know that California is raising and dispersing $125 million to help the undocumented population in California instead of Californians. Kent, did you know that the COVID-19 infection rate and death rates are so insanely low, it's less than the regular flu? Did you know that the shutdown of the entire Americas is being used now to promote voting from home. And boy, oh boy, is that going to be a problem. Kent, did you know that what you predicted a week ago on this broadcast is now coming to pass? People are out in the streets and the protests have begun. Mm. All right, next one. And I got to warn you, conspiracy theory alert <laughs> warning warning did you know that wuhan wuhan china is not only ground zero for patient one of the covid 19 infection but may also be where the entire outbreak was planned in advance with an insane worldwide goal in mind that is and a big Kent, one. Did you know that COVID-19 probably came from a Wuhan bioweapons lab and not from the wet market? Now, the wet market is where they take live dogs and cats and other animals, cut them up, and feed them to the people that come in and take home their delicacies in plastic bags. And here's a killer one for all of our younger population. Did you know that Facebook is now censoring and removing all mentions of COVID-19 that do not meet the standards of Facebook? And Facebook is working with the World Health Organization to decide what you should and should be not allowed to talk about regarding COVID-19. 